Even though Teresa Judas of The Real Housewives of New Jersey is an OG, she has often been dragged by her fellow co-stars for a silly joke. It isn't hard for Teresa Judas of The Real Housewives of New Jersey to make the news, but it's always enjoyable to note when a castmate is making fun of her. The mother of four has had a long career on The Real Housewives franchise thanks to her strong opinions. However, every so often, she has a fall from grace which her co-stars capitalize on. Since RHONG season 1, Teresa has been a staple on the show and hardly forgettable thanks to her table-flipping ways. Viewers have watched Teresa raise her four daughters, go to jail with her now ex-husband, Cho Gudis, deal with deportation and divorce, and find love all over again with Luz Rulas. Usually, Teresa is the one hitting back. But every so often, one of her fellow New Jersey housewives gets in a good jab of their own. According to an episode from RHONJ Season 13, the controversy about the perfect slice, or Pizzagate as Joe Gorka dubbed it, first started when he thought to make his pizza oven called Nano's Pizza, which was created to honor his and Teresa's late father. The New Jersey contractor claimed Lewis wanted in. However, instead of teamwork, Joe said Teresa and Louise held a private photo shoot and took over his creative idea. This, of course, created even more discord in their family dynamic. Teresa is great at starting rumors and didn't hold back when it came to former castmates Nicole Napolitano and Teresa Apria. During RHO1J Season 6, Teresa Juvis spread a rumor that Teresa Apria's husband Reno had slept with his mother in law. The gossip didn't go down well and caused a massive feud. Louis and Teresa tied the knot in August 2002, but Joe and Melissa were absent from the ceremony. After a tough season of Artichio and J. Joe and his wife decided to cut out the toxicity from their lives, which meant they were no longer talking to Teresa. The family alliance was officially done after Teresa spread a rumor that Melissa was caught kissing a man in the back seat of a car. Joe chose to skip the wedding and instead hung out at his beach house, where he mocked his sister on Instagram. During the reunion, Margaret Josephs and Teresa go head-to-head -head after Teresa called Margaret the devil. Without missing a beat, Margaret claps back, calling her former friend a criminal. Margaret was reminding Teresa of her time behind bars and all the lies she's told in the past. Leave it to Jackie Goldschneider to rip apart Teresa in the ultimate comeback. During the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 9 reunion, the writer called Teresa Mrs. Miriam Webster in an attempt to shut her foe down. Jackie also made fun of Teresa's inability to say a word correctly. While some of the drags were harsh, most of the time, Teresa deserved it.